Welcome everyone to come dine with me, Western New York. This morning, Jen, we wrap up our final show. Any thoughts? Oh, it's kind of bittersweet, Russ. You know, it's um, hard leaving because it's been so much fun here with you and all of our viewers. And you know, what show was to this? Is this our final fifth show? Fifth season. Yeah, fifth we're season. heading into our sixth. Come, you know, fall. Yeah. It will be here before you know it. But I think what we've tried to do is really promote the, the message of the great things that are happening here in Western New York and the people who live here. We've met a lot of great and, people you know, we, we and introduced good about them. Also supporting all the local restaurants, you know, and Key Video did a great job in getting the point across. And I mean, it makes you feel good. The people in Western New York, I've traveled not, not a lot, but I, there's night and day, believe me when I tell you. We the are best. so proud to be Buffalonians. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and we're helping to make Western New Yorkers better cooks one show at a time. That's what we're hoping, too. But, you know, just because today's our last episode of the season, it doesn't mean we're not working, right? This no. spring and summer, our TV crew from Key Video will be out and about visiting new restaurants, taping new episodes, and we'll be ready to air those in the fall when we return for season six. Well, let's hope we're all healthy. That's right, exactly. Well, we'll be back, and, but right now we're gonna get things started and head over to the studio at Artisan Kitchens and Baths with our very own Chef Marco. If you've got a large group or a big Italian family, I'm gonna show you one of my restaurant's most popular dishes, chicken carciofi. Carciofi means artichoke in Italian, and I'm gonna throw a little twist in by adding some olives to it. I'm gonna show you how to make it large quantity, put it on your table sometime this week for dinner. It's real simple. Start out with some boneless, skinless chicken breast, have the butcher pound it out so you don't make a mess in your house. We're gonna make a batter to put this in. And the twist that I'm gonna put on this dish today is I'm gonna be able to cook it on the Evo grill over here. We're gonna make a batter with egg and milk and flour. Now I'm not a big fan of handling the chicken, so I use a nice fork, we dredge it in the flour, we put it in the egg batter, and back in the flour. Basically like breading a chicken, except we're not using breadcrumbs, we're using flour this time. So as you batter it, or flour it, take it and set it aside. We're gonna add a little Italian baptism water to the top of this. And this is just like a flat top griddle. If you don't have a flat top griddle at home, you know, use a uh, nice Teflon pan so your chicken doesn't stick. And just oil the top of this griddle and I'm throwing the chicken down on a medium heat. And this is gonna cook all the way through. It's gonna get nice and brown. It's gonna crust up on the outside and just give it that little bit of, cru little bit of crunch that we like. Okay, while this is cooking, let's head over and make the sauce. Now what the sauce consists of is a little olive oil in a medium high heat, about two tablespoons. We're gonna add some roasted red peppers. I julienned them. Some pitted kalmata and green olives, some artichoke hearts, and fresh sliced mushroom. Now what we're going to do with that is just saute them until they get a little bit soft, and we're going to season it with roasted garlic, a little chopped garlic, gotta always have garlic in all these dishes, there we go, a little pepper, a little salt, a little fresh chopped parsley. You want to use the fresh. It brings out the flavor, the color, everything about it. You want to saute the vegetables until they're soft. Once they're soft, we're going to add a sweet Marcella wine and a whole butter. We're going to cream the sauce out and pour it over the chicken so it comes out real nice. Okay, now it's time to add the wine. We're adding a sweet Marcella wine. Now we got to make sure, especially if you have a mustache like me, to step back because once you hit the wine into the pan, it could flame back. We want to use about a half a cup. Once it cooks out, let it reduce down just a little bit. Add a whole butter right to your sauce. I know it looks like a lot, but we're feeding about four to six people. It's gonna make this sauce so creamy and yummy. You're gonna love this. And there you have it. This is our carciofi sauce. It's gonna go right over the top of our chicken. Now that our sauce is done and sitting on the stove staying warm, let's check out our chicken. I wanna season it on the other side. A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Look at that crust. 
It's absolutely perfect. That's beautiful. I'll let that keep going. In a minute, we'll put it on our plate. We'll finish it with our sauce. It doesn't get any better than this. better way to finish it. Imported grated Parmesan cheese right over the top. And there you have it. You got a group of people shows up unexpectedly at your house or a large Italian family. Chicken carciofi. It's simple, it's easy, it's elegant. I'm Chef Marco. Come down with me, Western New York. This portion of the program was sponsored in part by Buffalo Hotel Supply. Design, deliver, and install. We can do it all. And by Russell's Steaks, Chops, and More. Be my guest. Let us do the rest. We have new information on the most wanted sandwiches in Western New York. <laughs> I'll make this brief. These sandwiches were last seen at Marco's Italian Deli. Be on the lookout for Nicky Whispers. Big, beefy, surprisingly sweet. Mia Gomati, a spicy little number. Everyone wants to get their hands on. And the underboss, notorious and nearly impossible to knock off. If you see these sandwiches, do not, I repeat, do not apprehend them alone. They are extremely tasty. And no further questions at this time. Thank you. Be my guest and let us do the rest. With Frontier Catering, it's easy to show your good taste. Chef Art Christie uses time-tested techniques and authentic family recipes to create a custom menu that showcases your personal style and your venue. And with Frontier Catering, your food is prepared fresh, on site. For corporate events, unforgettable weddings, and other signature celebrations, it has to be Frontier Catering. To save you money, the Vinyl Outlet installs all year long. Act now and receive our amazing winter prices. Get rid of those old wrought iron railings and improve the safety and curb appeal of your home. No more scraping and painting. Porches, decks, fences, and railings, all on sale. Save big on Markdown Stock, an installation with discounts up to 35% off. This spring, be ready to enjoy the great outdoors. Let us transform your home. Hello, I'm Orazio Polito from Orazio's Italian Crepes and Gelato. This is my right-hand man chef, Jason Ball, and today we're going to do a couple of our favorites that are featured at the Galleria Mall location. Today we're going to do our chicken caprese crepe, and that's just our take on a caprese salad. We have some nice fresh grilled chicken inside of it, and we'll get the crepe going. So while he's making the crepe batter, I'll tell you a little bit about our Galleria Mall, our new concept restaurant that Hopefully we'll have all across the United States sooner than later. But it's uh, sweet and savory crepes and our crepe batter is actually made from an imported caputo flour right from Italy. And then we also have a buckwheat crepe which is gluten free for a lot of people that if they have celiac and things like that. And then to pair with that we also have a delicious premium all natural gelato. Jason poured his batter there and that's just a simple recipe made with flour, egg, milk, a little bit of butter, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. So what you want when you're making your crepes is you want to get a little bit of color on, on the bottom of the crepe and you can adjust your temperature but you'll see how delicate that is and you flip it over. We're going to top it and Jay will talk you through it. Okay so over here we have about 10 grape tomatoes that we have just cut in half. So we'll throw that on. And, and again, we'll you can put any toppings on that you want, but this is one of our lightest and one of our best sellers, and we Absolutely. actually just added it to the menu. This is a great crepe, and it's definitely a great, unique concept. So then we just had some fresh mozzarella, some bocconcini here. And the beautiful thing about this is right here, as soon as we put the basil on, I'm going to shift on this basil for him. 
just to make it up a little easier for them. But you can even just tear it if you're at home and you want to put it on torn. But we'll just shift now that basil and we'll put some nice fresh basil on that. And this crepe by itself is how we normally sell it. That's how it started, like a lot of our specials. We actually started it as a caprese. Before you know it, we added some chicken to it, and now I'd say the chicken outsells the regular caprese. That, the buffalo chicken crepe, Incredible. Out of this world. Like you said, we have a buffalo chicken crepe that we actually toss the chicken with a little bit of hot sauce, and we put blue cheese on the crepe. We put the chicken, some romaine lettuce, tomato, a little red onion, and a little bit of hot sauce. It's phenomenal. So just about a tablespoon or so of um, good olive oil on there, extra virgin olive oil. And then we just have some grilled chicken here. And so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just lightly season it because with anything, even just a, even a delicate crepe, we're just gonna put a little bit of uh, sea salt, fine sea salt, and a little bit of crushed black pepper on it just to give it that little extra seasoning. Gonna take some fresh mescaline mix and we're just gonna mix a little bit of our homemade house dressing to it and we're just gonna toss that around. Now that our savory crepe is made, let's make a nice dessert sweet crepe. Absolutely. Which one are we doing, Jay? Uh, this is our strawberry banana and Nutella crepe. This is probably by far the popular choice of our customers at the Galleria Mall. So again, we'll just get our batter spin in here. And if you don't like Nutella, we also have a nice Ghirardelli chocolate that yep. we can do instead of whatever you're in the mood for, whatever that you want that day, we can do it for you. So now we'll flip the crepe. See that little bit of color? That's exactly how you want it. And now at this point, this is where you go fast. Okay, so we're gonna take our bananas. We only use fresh fruit, fresh berries, fresh bananas, things like that. We don't use anything canned or frozen. Fresh strawberries, our Nutella. That looks beautiful. Okay, you're gonna taste the sweet, I'm gonna taste the savory crepe. Oh, amazing. Mm. Fantastic. So nice and light for a dessert, Razio. Here we also have three of our premium gelatos. We have our fresh mango, French chocolate brandy caramel fudge, and our creme brulee gelato, now available at all area Dash's markets. So now when you come to the Galleria Mall, not only do you have great shopping, but we have the great food to go with it, located in the, located in the back of the food court, one Walden Galleria Drive, Buffalo, New York. Come dine with me, Western New York. Welcome to Savoy. Today we are presenting the Artisan Pear. This crisp and refreshing cocktail is new to Savoy's menu and a favorite among our guests. The ingredients are pear vodka, ginger liqueur, lime juice, simple syrup, which is equal parts water and sugar, and garnished with the pear. First, you'll want to chill your coupe glass. Next, in your mixing glass, Add a half ounce of ginger liqueur, a half ounce of lime juice, one and a half ounces of pear vodka, and a half ounce of simple syrup. Next, add ice and shake vigorously. Use your hawthorn and fine strainer to pour your ingredients into the coupe. To garnish, thinly slice a pear and add to your drink. And there you have the artisan pear. Come on down to Savoy and see for yourself why it's such a fan favorite. Closed captioning provided by Car Star Relax. We'll take it from here. 
If you've been in an accident, look no further than Ventura's Car Star Collision. After all, we look at your situation from both sides. Part of you wants certified technicians who use the industry's most advanced equipment. The other part wants an incredible staff to help you with insurance, estimates, and car rentals. At Ventura's Car Star Collision, we give you the best of both worlds. We'll work together to get you rolling again. Hi, this is Tom Payne to introduce my modern twist on Shepherd's Pie. Try my Buffalo Shepherd's Pie, Southwest Shepherd's Pie, Short Rib Shepherd's Pie, and Lobster Shepherd's Pie with corn, mashed potatoes, and chunks of New England lobster. Or try my favorite, Thanksgiving Shepherd's Pie. Roast turkey, stuffing, green beans, mashed potatoes, and cranberries. Are you kidding me? All for a limited time at the Grapevine, 2545 Niagara Falls Boulevard in Amherst. Eyes on Harlem and Eyes Downtown is all about personalized service. We offer many styles with a large selection of exclusive brands to suit every need at a price for every budget. I'm Dr. Bob and my mission is to help you maintain healthy vision. Let my staff help you and your family with all of your optical needs. Check out our website or call and make the drive to one of our two convenient locations. Eyes on Harlem, Eyes Downtown. Better vision for a better life. Trust me, they got a selection fit for a king. Some say it's our amazing sports bar. Others, our relaxed and comfortable dining room. And then there are those who say it's our private meeting and banquet rooms where we take care of everything. Whatever draws you to Buffalo's best grill and catering, one thing's for certain, you'll always get a great meal. We pride ourselves on our casual atmosphere with very comfortable prices. Buffalo's best grill and catering, Southwestern Boulevard in Orchard Park. Stop in today and see why we're Buffalo's best. Welcome back to the program. The part of the show that attracts the most viewer mail is our kitchen invasion. Let's take a look. We decided to have the kitchen redone because it was the last room in the house that needed a facelift. It wasn't as functional as I think I would like it to be. There used to be a lot of counter space on the back side of the kitchen that we really didn't use. So we wanted a more intelligent use of our space in the kitchen. Artisan was an easy decision. We needed somebody to help design our kitchen. Brian came out that day and he had plans that night. So we were able to roll with it pretty quickly. I do most of the cooking in the house. I probably cook four or five days a week. Uh, I'm not the main cook in the house. I just hope to learn how to use more of the uh, equipment in the kitchen and um, some some cooking techniques that they can show us. Hey, how are you? Hi. Good to see you. Hi. So happy to be here. Thanks for being here. We're so Thanks excited. For so I'd really like to learn a few different techniques. One thing I'd asked is about is making pizzas. And that's all about Marco. Marco made some beautiful flatbread pizza. I showed him how to spread the dough. We had a variety of toppings and put them on the grill at the end. It was excellent. And Jack was also interested in the grill. And I was like, oh, we've got to get out on that grill with you. Tucker wasn't able to be with us today, but he did drop off some beautiful tomahawk center cut pork rib chops. We incorporated roasted corn right on the grill and a baked potato. Of course, Art got a hold of that. Having a baked potato bar is fun. It's versatile. It gives you the opportunity to have as much or anything that you like. It's also a good way to get rid of some leftovers in the refrigerator if you have them as well. For the dessert, I prepared a wonderful zabayon served over fresh berries. And also, we opted for some walnuts, almonds, and some dried apricots. And finished that off with a beautiful wedge of Parmesan Reggiano. I think Jack's got a nice glass of red wine for everyone for that. So Jack, one of the things you're gonna throw on your grill this summer is to be something totally different and unique. And we're gonna do a flatbread. And I'm gonna show you how to do it, where we can just throw it on a grill, be real simple, quick, we'll get that nice char flavor on the bottom. You just put a little shortening on the pan, spread the dough, and put your toppings. We did a nice high-grade olive oil. We had San Marzano tomatoes and artichokes and spinach and ricotta, and just it went on and on and on. Roasted garlic, it was just, it was excellent. Well, if you'd be so kind, and throw mine in the top oven there in uh, 450 degrees for about a half an hour, 25 minutes. And we finished it on the charcoal grill. Grill is nice, it's got a great heat to it. This is gonna be quick, so we're gonna throw them both on. We're gonna spin them around a couple times, put them on a plate, take them in and eat them. Okay. And it picks up the smoke and the charcoal real fast. It was, it was just excellent. What do you think? That's delicious. Not bad, huh? 
My portion of the home invasion today was to do all the preparation for the baked potato bar. So we had sweet potatoes, we had regular Idaho baked potatoes, and then we had all the various toppings that go on it. Also, I was in charge of grilling the center cut boneless prime rib of pork, I Frenched them up real nice and made some chipotle pesto sauce, which was just off the chart. A little salt and pepper, and just get a nice coal grill going, which is always the best heat. A sear on both sides of the grill, and then just before plate presentation, we smeared both sides with a little bit of the chipotle pesto. It just let it firm up and then bring it over to the table for presentation. Zebaillon is a classical French dessert consisting of egg yolks. I started out with lemon juice, sugar. I chose Grand Marnier for my alcohol. You can use a Marcella or whatever you so choose. It's one of my favorites. I like the orange, I like the lemon, and over berries it'll be great. Probably around two tablespoons. Okay, wait, a little dab more. Blah, 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 blah. You just whisk that until it's a lemon colored over a double boiler, and it thickened up beautifully today, and I serve that fresh over the berries. We'll take that right over to the table. I can't wait for you to see it. Okay. Why don't you just pour one ladle of that over the berries. Working with Krista was a lot of fun. She was really easy to get along with, and I just hope to visit her out at Curly sometime and see her in action. I've never had something so complete and tasty in my own house. The flatbread that Jack made was delicious. He was interested, he wanted to learn how to bring a new element to his table. I think I like the creation of something. Having it finished on the grill was something I was a little unsure about, but it tasted really good, very unique, so I know he'll be doing that again. I would like to start making some more pizzas in the kitchen because I really like to eat pizza a lot, and so does my wife, so being able to make it in my house would be really great. That was a lot of fun. I think I know that Jack enjoyed that. Come dine with me! This portion of the program was sponsored in part by Artisan Kitchens and Baths. See, touch, feel, and use our products. And by Key Video Productions. Television, video, DVD. Welcome to Illy DePaul's restaurant. It's a family affair here, as we carry on tradition with my grandfather of serving great food, sharing stories, talking sports, and celebrating with friends and family at the Ringside Lounge. Fifty years ago, actually, Ilio de Paolo's restaurant opened up as Ilio de Paolo's Pizzeria, and that was the basis of our beginnings of Ilio de Paolo back in 1965. My father had a basic sauce recipe, usually five, six ingredients, because he believed in the freshness. So he created this nice pizza sauce recipe that's been our house recipe for our pizza sauce for about 50 years. In Italy, it was very simple, very plain. Pizza was not the thick stuff that they had. I mean, when you go back, it was real thin, but a little bit of dough and just a good spice here and there. You baked it in the oven, that's what it was, but very tasty. That's the recipes that we continue to follow. The two favorite pizzas that my dad used to make, one was a pizza, which was a nice little garlic oil, rosemary, and a little bit of Romano cheese on it, and then just baked very simple. And then the other one was, I think every employee that has worked here remembers what we called Ilio pizza bread, and it is French loaf sliced in half, drizzled with a little Italian dressing. My dad put a little bit of black pepper on there, mozzarella cheese, baked in the oven. Everybody that has worked here in the 50 years has had at one point or another, and it is still here today. One of those favorites that it's a quick, easy meal. So that's my father's recipe, and when you're 285 pounds, it better be tasty, better be good. It's always a great day at Ilio de Palos. We'll see you at the Ringside Lounge. TV doesn't have to be expensive to be memorable. It's all about finding that unique hook that will get your business noticed. People are always surprised that they can be on TV so inexpensively, and then, after the spot is produced, we can help get it on any broadcast or cable station and even your website. We have an entire team working behind the scenes to help your business stand out. That kind of attention is priceless. We call it concept to completion and Key Video is ready to go to work for you. To save you money, the vinyl outlet installs all year long. Act now and receive our amazing winter prices. Get rid of those old wrought iron railings and improve the safety and curb appeal of your home. No more scraping and painting. Porches, decks, fences, and railings, all on sale. Save big on Markdown Stock, an installation with discounts up to 35% off. This spring, be ready to enjoy the great outdoors. Let us 
transform your home. What you're witness here tonight is the typical Friday or Saturday night at Russell State Shops and more. Look at this kitchen, it's like a factory. We probably got a hundred people working in this place here tonight. This is our bone and ribeye. Look at the size, two and a half inches thick, all prime beef. We have a 12 to 14 ounce lobster tail, all Australian. 16 ounce strip steaks, all prime beef. Isn't that gorgeous? This is at Russell Steaks, Chops and more. Well, we're out of time for this episode, but before we go, we'd like to thank our great sponsors, Tom and Scott at The Vinyl Outlet, Russell Steaks, Chops and more, Artisan Kitchens and Baths, the beautiful kitchens that they do for us, Eyes Downtown and Eyes on Harlem, great glasses by the way, and of course our key video production crew along with all of our wonderful restaurants. And uh, Jan, for the last time till next season, what are we going to do? Well, S support our local restaurants. That's right, right. yes, you took and the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, <laughs> we have to support our local restaurants folks. It means an awful lot to everybody in Buffalo, New York. Thank you. And just a reminder that if you'd like any of the recipes you've seen on today's show, or you want to learn more about our program, check us out on Facebook. And don't forget to hit that like. Well, Jan, what do you think about next season? Oh, I think uh, I'm ready. I think we're going to have don't some... You th don't you think you should replace me? Great. <laughs> huh? no. I, I stutter all over the script. I can't <laughs> see no more. I'm not no young chicken anymore, you know. I know, but that doesn't matter. You are. Come down with me, Western New York, Russell oh, Salvatore. You. <laughs> well, I hope we're both healthy, and we'll see what happens next year. Yep, we'll be back in the fall. For the key video crew and everyone here at Come Down With Me, Western New York, I'm Jan Farrington. And I'm Russ Salvatore. Start, time to stick a fork in it, Jan, because we are done. TV doesn't have to be expensive to be memorable. It's all about finding that unique hook that will get your business noticed. People are always surprised that they can be on TV so inexpensively. And then, after the spot is produced, we can help get it on any broadcast or cable station and even your website. We have an entire team working behind the scenes to help your business stand out. That kind of attention is priceless. We call it concept to completion, and Key Video is ready to go to work for you. Dr. Bob here, bring your night vision into focus. Eyes on Harlem, eyes downtown. Better vision for a better life.